Oh, this is Bobby at Copal TV Repair with a video for a board for Vizio M550 SV uh, that was returned back to us from customers saying that it doesn't work. Uh, hopefully this will be unique markings enough for them to recognize it. Uh, it was sent to them on September 27, 2019. And the board number 3655-0342-0150 and again this is for Visio M550 SV I will show actually right now this is the Visio, the usual setup uh, USB player on power through the USB on to HDMI, I think this is HDMI one, I can be wrong and uh, this is the TV, what I can do is Get a visual remote, turn it off. Okay, so the sensor is here on this side. I think it was on the other. My mistake. I can actually disconnect that. Customer said that the board was not starting properly on their TV. Uh, it is right out of the box. We haven't done anything out of it. Uh, well, this is it. The visual logo should be. A little orange it is, it just doesn't show very well and I am going to turn it on with a remote and there you go, it's my white this is your sign one, two, three, four, five done and ready HDMI which HDMI will that be? HDMI 1 720p and the picture the menu I guess I was here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soft reset it to factory defaults so the customer has to go through the standard initialization screen this is how the liver boards that come to here now while this is doing a uh, customer also sent they're all the original board and they, they said the HDMI wasn't working and uh, this is being sent for either core or repair uh, as customer himself said they sent it to another place first and it was returned saying that they couldn't fix the problem what, what we can tell is that the HDMI has been replaced on that board I don't know if it is marked somewhere I'm looking right now if I can see Maybe this is the customer signature because this is ours. The person who takes them out and reviews them first signs every single board and this doesn't look like his signature. So hopefully customer will recognize. You can see the shiny solder on the HDMI switch I see. And what you will hopefully see in a second here, this is the that TV is ready and reset. I'm gonna be shutting it off in a second. What you will hopefully see, let me go somewhere with more light. Is, hold on, that is the chip. I don't know if you can see that extra track here. I will need something sharp that is not under the leg, it's just hanging out. Let me see if this will do. I just grabbed something that was handy and I shouldn't be messing a lot with it but this is totally freely hanging this track here so move it around and now it's twisted the other way it's just not soldered at all uh, which is just to sh illustrate that this IC has been replaced so whatever that board was sent and they soldered it they didn't do a good job you can actually see another one that is twisted sideways I haven't seen that I only see it now and it's entirely possible that those do not make any connection at all this is not the right tool for that but uh, anyhow my point is this leg actually illustrates it better than everything we'll have to be taking that IC out and replacing it we'll have to be searching for other problems the problem is not necessarily here we have another video posted many years ago showing uh, that you know after finding a problem here we had to desolder the 
uh, inductor that uh, sends the power voltage to the switch IC only to find out that the, there was a shortage on the other side which ultimately led to the main IC. Uh, long story short, that board has been worked on and we will not be offering the same amount of credit for it uh, than we would for a board. I uploaded a video I think yesterday for another board that was tempered. This is definitely this definitely wasn't a professional job and it may have left other damages as well. We don't know as of right now where the problem is. Uh, we'll be talking to the customer. This is just for them to see why are we going to be defending the idea that this is not worth uh, the $70 we normally offer for uh, properly returned boards. If you want to see us returning the full amount, find a video from yesterday again for a different board, totally different board that came Actually, it was the same type of board. Uh, it had missing fuses. I remember because I talked to that customer today. He went back and apologized. It was missing the, the fuses. They were ripped off and it had two voltage regulators that were pretty poorly soldered. And actually, one of them had a damage that wasn't seen until we went to replace it. The track has been cut off. I must have the board somewhere and we had to, to patch that. Something similar may be happening here that's going to take more time to fix. It's going to cost us more and that's the reason why we wouldn't be paying the full amount. Thank you for your time right now and uh, talk to you soon.